Hello there guys, what's going on? I am Kenny, and I am bringing to you, uh, The Walking Dead, um, Survival Instinct on the Xbox 360. I decided to just, um, get the game, even though it's been getting very bad reviews. Um, yes, my voice is a bit, um, a bit fucked up. I've been sick for the past week. And that's part of the reason why there was no dead talk with Kenny last week. Um, but I figure since I'm doing the, um, the video game, Walking Dead, um, I figured I would combine dead talk with Kenny into a video with my thoughts on the Walking Dead survival instinct in the same video. Um, so this game is beginning terrible, terrible reviews. Um, but since it's Walking Dead and I'm a big fan of the show, I figured I would try it anyway, because I just, I really wanted to try it. I got it for 35 bucks on eBay, so, you know, I'll probably just play it and then sell it, or whatever. Um, I only played the game for about, uh, 13 minutes or so. Um, <coughs> then I stopped. So, uh, yeah, season three, the season three finale last night, um, jeez, that was, uh, pretty crazy stuff, actually, uh, um, I love the governor so much, but I was really disappointed at the fact that Milton was killed off, um, but I loved, oh my god, I love the fact that Andrea's gone, now all I need is Michonne to be gone, and then I'll be a big happy camper. So this game, um, I mean, I think it goes without saying that the graphics are, you know, not impressive. Um, but I'm one of those guys that really doesn't care about the graphics as long as they don't look, you know, really bad. I mean, you ever hear of the game Deadly Premonition? You probably haven't. Um, it's for the Xbox 360. I have um, a video about it if you want to look for it. I think it's called like A Look Back, Deadly Premonition or something like that. That game is an example of a game that is so bad in terms of graphics and gameplay, but the story made that game amazing. It's so good. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, just be aware that the first like half hour of Deadly Premonition is so bad that, that you're going to want to return it. But 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 uh, bear with it because it's really good. So um, anyway, this video isn't about Deadly Premonition. It's about Walking Dead Survival Instinct. Norman Reedus comes back as Daryl Dixon. And uh, Michael Rooker comes back to portray... Uh, Merle Dixon, you play as Daryl Dixon. Right here, you're playing as uh, as the Dixon brothers' father. Um, this is to, this this part right here was basically just to show you how to play the game. Right here, you can see me trying awful quick scoping and no scoping. I I'm really bad at it, um, and then I get killed. Um, but I think you're supposed to get killed because of this cutscene right here. Now see, this part makes no sense. In a couple of seconds, you're going to see Daryl Dixon come on, come on camera, and then he's going to be so upset that his father is dying. Even though in the in the in the in the TV show, Daryl Dixon's Daryl Merle Dixon's father is abusive to him. Like, look, Daryl's so upset, and yet his dad gave him those friggin' scars on his back. He was alcoholic. He was abusive. So I don't understand why he is so upset over the fact that his dad's dying. And this right here, really, I, I mean, I don't know if somebody was acting this part or if they just made this part, but this is really bad acting. Like, I mean, really bad. Um, so the guy is like, it's okay, Daryl, I'll do him in. And then right here, with the TV show, like, intro, this part is really cool. I really like how they made it just with the TV show. Um, it looks, it's very, very well done, I think. Number three is Michael Rooker portray Daryl Dixon and Merle Dixon. And yeah, Merle Dixon being killed off last week. Like, damn man, that that really like <clears throat> that really sucked. Especially since I was really starting to like Merle Dixon. Partially because he abducted Michonne and I really hate Michonne. But that's not all, you know. I mean, Michael Rooker, I think he portrayed Merle Dixon very well. Um, so yeah. So, Daryl Dixon staring into the mirror, looking at the picture of him and his brother Merle. Uh, punched the mirror. Oh, God. Oh, God, he broke it. He broke it. Oh, God. 
I really shouldn't yell like that with my voice like this. So press X to pick up the hunting knife. It tells you what the what the melee weapons are, what they do. Hold it to do this. Press to do that. Sports drink, all that crap. Uh, so this game, um, in the 13 minutes or so I played of it, I mean, I didn't play it long enough to, to like form a, um, an actual judgment on it, but so far I would say the game is not terrible, it's just not good. Um, I would say it's, <clears throat> it's mediocre I would say, mediocre. <clears throat> Man, I, now that I'm talking a lot, like I, I hear how I sound, and I really apologize for this because because of my voice sounding like this, this video is probably not that enjoyable. But I hope you still stick around, and you know, if you want to check out the game for yourself, see if you want to buy it. Um, so far, I would say I got it at half price, like I said in the beginning of the video. Um, from the from the like 13 minutes or so I played the game, I would say no is not worth full price. But then again, I, I only played for like 13 minutes, so you know I'll play it more. And if you guys want, I will also do um, a video playthrough of the whole game if you want. Um, so yeah, if if, if you guys want to see more of this game, then let me know. If you want to see more of this game or that game or whatever game, let me know. I actually got a um, a brand new um, Windows laptop because I spilled water onto my Mac's onto my Mac, and it it destroyed the keyboard. Luckily, I bought a USB keyboard so I can still use my Mac. But um, so I figured, you know what? There's lots of games on the PC that I can't play because I never had a Windows computer that was good enough, but um, I played Slender The Arrival and there was no lag whatsoever, which was fantastic. It played very nicely. So you can look for more videos of indie horror games for me in, in the near future um, now that I have a computer that's good enough to play them. Um, it's just a matter of uh, getting my fraps set up um, and being able to record the gameplay because for some reason it's it's like not really working very well right now. You know, I'll, I'll have to figure that out. So, yeah, not quite sure what to say right now. But I will say though that The Walking Dead season three, I may be in the minority here, but The Walking Dead season three, overall, it was terrible. It was so bad, and it only got and it only got good to me about like two episodes ago, back when uh, the mystery guy burned the walkers, um, and Milton started to turn his back on the governor. Um, the governor, goddamn, I love that guy so much. David Morrissey is freaking boss, man. He, pl I think David Morrissey deserves an award already for his performance as the governor. He is so convincing. He is so evil. I love that guy. And when he wiped out like, 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 like all of his men on that road, that was like, holy shit, that was freaking amazing. I love that. <laughs> I love the governor so much. I'm so glad that that, uh, that Andrew's gone. I'm so freaking glad that she's gone. Now that her name is shown to be gone, and then I'll be really happy. <sighs> so, season four um, is going to start up in the fall, probably like early to mid October. Considering how bad season three was, I'm really not that excited about season four. But of course, I'll watch it. Season 2 of The Walking Dead was such good TV. And it's weird because the main gripe I had with Season 3 was the fact that, like, nothing happened. They were just, you know, one episode was the prison, then the next episode was just the town, some episodes switched between the two, and that was it. But in Season 2, like, basically everything took place on the farm. So, but I don't know why, but for some reason, you know, all you saw right there when I got the achievement for, um, or trophy, whatever, for, um, for a double headshot with a sniper rifle. Yeah, right here I die. I was being a dipshit. I totally forgot about the water bottles that I picked up. And, um, 
Yeah, the controls in this game aren't that great. It's kind of it's hard to run. Um, and I just I don't think they should have did a first person, um, a first person an FPS. They should not have made The Walking Dead into an FPS. That's like taking Super Mario Brothers and making it into a a, a, a stealth game. You know, like, I just, I don't understand why they did that. Like, Walking Dead isn't just killing zombies. It's about the story and everything. But, um, yeah, so I beat, I beat this mission in about three or so minutes, and then I end the game. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not terrible. The game, the game is not terrible, but it's just not good. It's not decent either. I would say it's mediocre. Like, it's just, just barely enough. Um, but like I like Activision, I have no respect for them now. If a game is not guaranteed to make a profit, th then they're not gonna they're not gonna bother making it. Activision is one of those companies that is out there solely for the money. That th they stopped development of Sleeping Dogs because, and I quote, they thought it would be not it, they thought it would be financially unwise to continue production of that game, so they stopped. In other words, this game is not named Call of Duty, and therefore it's not guaranteed to sell like hotcakes. Therefore, we're not going to waste our time developing it, because we want money, and that's all we want. Fuck you, Activision, I hate you. Especially with what you did to Walking Dead. Because they know The Walking Dead is a very popular name right now. So therefore, what do they do? They capitalize on the uh, on the popularity of the TV show and make, make a game of it. Now, I know people are going to say, Activision published it, they didn't make it, Termin Terminal Reality did. Well, guess what? Activision gave these people less than a year to make this fucking game. I apologize for my language, but I'm really pissed off about this. The fact that this game could have been absolutely amazing if they if they gave it more time. And then the argument, the argument will be, well, okay, uh, they wanted to get this game out before Season 3 ended, so therefore the hype would still be high. I can see the argument for that, but why not wait until Season 4 launches? Then, to me, it's like Season 4 is beginning in October. The game, the game comes out a week before, before that. Like, the hype would be in, at an all-time high if, if the show was just beginning and then the game was released. I, I just, I don't know. But Activision, fuck you to goddamn hell, I hate you so much. Oh, stab him in the crotch. Yeah, the, the zombies sound pretty good. Um, the controls, like I said, aren't great. <clears throat> so this video is about to end. So guys, rate, comment, subscribe, spread the word. If you want to see more videos like this, say so. If you want to see more Walking Dead um, survival instinct and say so and I definitely will make more videos like this um, if you like this video click that like button add it to your favorites post a comment It'll help my channel out just that much more and help me to, to get to my goal of 1,000 subscribers and again I sincerely apologize for my voice I've been sick I am still sick but I wanted to make this video um, this is my first ever playthrough of the Walking Dead Survival Instinct, so I wanted to show you guys what it's like and offer my thoughts on it. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and um, take care. Peace.